Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Logan once again. Guys, I am super excited to jump into this one, primarily because this out of I, I can I can I think I can confidently say this um, as of right now. Logan is my favorite superhero movie next to spider-man and spider-man 2 the original ones um and that's including like you know after watching endgame after watching uh no way home uh, like logan just did it correctly man they did it so well they knocked it out the park really i remember when this was first announced especially with the r-rated um uh, 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 disclaimer I was just, I was so excited because Wolverine is a character who's extremely violent and his violence comes from a place of, of, of a, a very traumatic past and traumatic lifestyle that he lives. So his violence is heavily warranted. And um, I've always, as a kid, I've always loved seeing Wolverine just really F things up because I mean, he was the perfect definition of what i would consider to be a hero worthy of his violence right of worthy of his rage i mean now we have like you know I, i'm introduced to the punisher and you know a bunch of other characters who do somewhat of a similar vigilante type of feeling but i don't know i feel like uh in terms of popu popularity uh, you know, alongside Daredevil, Wolverine was always that dude. And I remember playing the video game. If you guys, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the video game, uh, I believe it was called Wolverine or it was just X-Men, but I'm pretty sure it was Wolverine where, uh, the violence was just off the charts. <laughs> it was absolutely insane. If you guys are gamers, then I can only describe it as God of War, not like the newest God of War, but the original um, God of Wars, where it was just like, you know, mashing the buttons and everything, making crazy combos. It was kind of like that, but imagine if you're Wolverine on crack. It's incredible. It's seriously, it's seriously incredible. I highly recommend that original game, even though it's kind of like, you know, it shows its age, but it's so good, so good. And now they're coming out with an official video game, Wolverine. I'm not sure what the rating is gonna be on that, but I hope that it's like, like, you know, worthy of a fitting one that matches the violence is all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, just to kind of like sum up everything that I just said, um, it's one of the reasons why I'm really excited to jump into Logan once again, and also really um, value the filmmaking around Logan and around uh, the, the, the essentially the final moments of Logan and are really great send-off of the character who has been wondrously played by uh, Hugh Jackman for years. I mean, this is like, you know, you talk about Tony Stark, you think of freaking Robert Downey Jr. I mean, right next to that, if not the first one, I believe, was Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. So guys, I'm really excited to kind of jump into this again. I'm going to stop talking, but I'm uh, I'm looking forward to really uh, seeing more of like the filmmaking aspect so I can have a greater appreciation to personally one of my uh, top favorite characters within the Marvel uh, verse of everything so yeah with that being said i'm excited um if you guys want to be able to watch and hear everything that i have to say because um i, I am going to probably be saying a lot and if you want to hear all that i got to say definitely check out the patreon link below for the full length maybe your favorite part isn't in the youtube edit you know how youtube is also so like just you know be aware uh check the comments if anything happens and um yeah if you want to look at everything check out the patreon you can still support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe and at the very least please Please just sit back and enjoy with good vibes. Be chill. I hope that you are able to just like, you know, take in the weekend as best as you can as we finally hop into Logan. Again, guys, if you want to be able to watch and hear all that I have to say, and again, I'd like to clarify, just in case if your favorite part isn't in the YouTube edit, definitely check out the Patreon. You guys know the drill. Let's get right back into Logan. Like, uh... <laughs> Yeah. You know, this is the least. No one's gonna pay to ride. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. So to think that if he wasn't a, a mutant and if he was just a human, they would have just merged somebody. That's kind of cold blooded. But thankfully, we can be in the footsteps of a walking demon. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
Love those little cool camera work right there. That was dope. Oh, man. It's so good to see. It's so good to hear. It doesn't get old. <laughs> Dang. Just getting shredded by Wolverine is just... It's a, it's a good sight to see from afar when you're not in it. Damn. Just the rage. Hugh Jackman can bring the rage of this character, and it shows with every movement. And that's why I'm so happy that it's rated R, because when you see him piercing people's skin, man, you feel it, dude. It's not just rated R just because, oh, man, we wanted to make it rated R. It's like, no, there's a reason for it. There's a kinetic energy with it. I mean, he's like a wounded animal on the run, but like... He's not running. Well, he is running, actually. He is. I think that that is a good thing to say, actually. He is kind of like an animal on the run. Not physically, but like, you know, up here at least. As I live and breathe, the Wolverine. And he's a junkie now. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Yo, the funny thing about this dude's voice is that it reminds me of that uh, one dude from The Hateful Eight. And <laughs> the one that was the last one with Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Three dead cholos and a pullout on 54. Not unusual. Either. You cannot tell me he does not sound like him. Like, come on. I know what you're hiding, amigo. The old cue ball south of the border. What do you want? A little cooperation. Again, like, it's just so interesting not seeing Wolverine or Logan dominate the scene in terms of him being... You know, usually the one busting people's balls. <laughs> now he's getting his balls busted. Like he just doesn't want to be a part of it. <laughs> I gotta say too, the lighting, spe especially in this setting, is incredible. And the way that the camera is framed and how the light is sometimes pouring in and it creates these dimensional spaces within the space reminds me of you know a comic book like even this for example all the different framings within the frame just by them moving the camera it really reminds me of a comic book same thing go now while supplies last who are you i just noticed this too is he like reading people's minds? I thought he was just, you know, just saying random things. He's just reading people's minds and getting fragments and I think he's just saying it. Is that is that what's happening? Honestly, the only reason why Logan is even able to move is because of, you know, what's in his body. Otherwise, they'd be absolutely tarnished. <laughs> They don't want me. They want you. Oh, yes. That's how fucking stupid they are. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious because I'm just so not used to him cussing. But we took you in. I gave you a family. They're gone now. Mm. Well, it's interesting that he used the word animal there because that's... Kind of what he looks like. That's kind of how he's been acting, despite him being so strong. Myself cowering below decks like Nosferatu. Do you? Folding your underpants and making him spotted dick. <laughs> he's such a great addition to this film, man. I'm also a huge fan of him, by the way. Him and Ricky Gervais are incredible. And Carl Pilkington. I got away from them, but now they know my car. Look. That's another thing. I love that they use comic books in this film as as a way to reference itself in the film. They, they do it so wisely. It's a great Easter egg, really. Be back in a few days. Man, something about that frame with Xavier tending to his plants. Something about that scene is really beautiful to me. Just personal note. Hey, you didn't shoot the poor thing, did you? How did you? I asked you first. I don't like guns. Of course. 
wish you'd call me love. It's just so crazy that this this dude that I don't know is able to just step up to Logan. Like that's a crazy thing. Not the only one that's been enhanced. God. Ah! <laughs> Damn. I love that Tennessee L she she did before throwing that thing. <laughs> Come, it's okay. You can stay here. The way that this entire story lines itself up, it reminds me almost like a like a tell, or like a like an epic in a way. No, Logan. What? I don't. I think that. <laughs> He's like, God damn, you're strong. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I love that like little <laughs> little moment on his face of like. <laughs> Jesus, Wolverine, seeing you like this just breaks my damn heart. As soon as I rip it out of your chest, fuck me. Yo, he really sounds like the dude from Hateful Eight. It's really funny. <laughs> he really sounds like it. I love how she always has this, like, don't test me face. Like, it's pretty damn awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. Rolled his head like a damn bowling ball. Laura. 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 I love how this is shot and how this was edited. So damn good. And his reaction. <laughs> Bruh, dude, she's so awesome. <laughs> she is awesome. Love that shot. Really love that shot. That was really cool. <laughs> Bruh, that was wild, man. <laughs> And then you got the music. Oh, man. Oh, it's like I'm watching it all over again. I got chills. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. She is so deadly. They did such a great job at, like, showing us why she is scary. I'm slumped. I'm so slumped, man. <laughs> Damn! Oh man! There's gonna be a whole lot of that, by the way, if you didn't know. Bro, I just don't understand how the hell she is so acrobatic. That is so awesome. <laughs> now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you used to work for my team. You were helping round up all those old mutes. What changed? I really do feel like Logan is a beautiful send off to, you know, the people that have read the comics who have grown up with Logan because of all the references to the comic books of like, oh, I remember you when you were a kid and all the children in this as well, you know, and their fascination towards like, you know, the X-Men mutants and all that. Like, I really do feel like this entire film is just a beautiful send off to like everyone who's been with Wolverine. For transgen research in Mexico City. Is Shout out to iPhones also being a great source of information. <laughs> Finally in films. <laughs> like when this started happening, I was like, this is thank you. <laughs> These are babies of mutantes. That's heartbreaking. But that's that's the story of mutants, man. That's literally that's literally it. You said you would take the child there. Now more than ever, it does like a really great full circle into what it really means to be a mutant, to be an X-Men, you know? A good person, really. Last ride. <laughs> Dude, she looks 
like Quicksilver. <laughs> they look like they could be brothers and sisters. They are working on something new. Something they think is better than the children. Something they say is without a soul. Whoo! Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, man. I just... I'm just remembering. <laughs> I'm just remembering. Not a toy. Not, uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, chair. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, Logan is juggling, handling a old man who can take out the entire continent and a young lady who can, I mean, given time, potential of taking out the entire continent. <laughs> In the real world, people die, and no self-promoting asshole in a fucking leotard Logan. can stop it. This is ice cream for bedwetters. Logan, Your nurse has been feeding you some. Again, I love that they are doing that. I love that. Ah, that's just really good. <laughs> that's such a great way to incorporate that. <laughs> Damn, yo, this scene is crazy. This one is crazy. You want to see how strong Charles Xavier is, bro? This scene is just stupid. I love it. Because, again, we've already established that he's the only person that can withstand this. My thing is, is everybody going to die after this? Damn, yo, this scene is awesome, man. They're using every aspect to just build this, man. Everything has meaning. This means when he does brutal things like this, I feel it. <laughs> Damn. I, like, how does that work? Like, does he know that he's dead? Like, how does your brain work when that happens? He's just like still conscious. Oh man. Bro, the VFX is, are off the charts, man. Off the charts. Damn. Y'all, you want to talk about tension? You guys want to talk about tension? That was astronomical. I love that scene. That's like my favorite scene out of like a lot of comic book <laughs> related to films. That is like top, top, top tier for me. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. And like he can't, damn. And you know he does feel sorry. And especially understanding his ideology from the previous films. It, I know that must have wrecked his soul. Oh, give him to him. Now. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you guys got to tell me your experience when you first watched this. Please. Because this this, this had me freaking out. By the way, uh, I'm going to be watching The Batman this Saturday. So that should be really fun. Speaking of, like, you know, hero films that you know, I'm definitely looking forward to. Been hearing great things about that, so should be exciting. So beautiful. It's great that they allow this moment because we've seen how destructive his power can be, but how beautiful it can, you know, also be at the same time. I'm Catherine. James. My son Nate. Hi. By the way, this this story. Right here. This story that happens in this film is so depressing. It's so depressing, but incredibly well written. I'm telling you guys this now, so when things does happen, I don't, like, you know, talk a lot through it. <laughs> I can just kind of, <laughs> well, get hit by it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's a good description. He was there, too. Oh, yeah, no, um, I got kicked out a few <laughs> times. <laughs> it's so they they can make the vibe switch so well. It's so good here. I just want to exist in this moment forever. 
But just like life, that can't always be the case. I'm going to count to three, and you're going to start walking away. I got rights to this one. One. I have a lawyer now. Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> this story is like my favorite. It's, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> And I don't want to be that guy, but I'm definitely going to be that guy because I think it's, you know, deserving and I think it's definitely intentional. But I've always related to mutants, you know, primarily because of you know how cool they were and just how different they were. But as I grew older, I started to really see why I, you know, also cherish them as well. And that's because of their, you know, their their ostracized, just the feeling of them being ostracized by society. You know, we're talking about our minority. Oh, man. Damn, man. That is so terrible. That broke my heart. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness, man. Wow. Damn. The way they did this is just technological achievement, in my opinion. i never seen anything like that before, shown like that. That's basically like a Neo, you know, <laughs> moment right there. You best stay where you are, pal. I'm the law out here. No, 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 no. What in high <laughs> Oh no! He did not just cut him off at the high noon part, dude. Oh no! Mm. Oh my god, dude. Ah man, it still hurts. It still hurts. It still hurts. What the hell are you? Ah oh, man! You can just feel the energy, man. They are swinging. Like, they are trying to kill each other. There's no, like, patty cake. None of that. Like, you see how he winds it up? How brutal it is? Oh, man, that armpit. Yikes, man. This journey is is one of a kind as well because our protagonist here, Logan, is is quite literally dying. You know, he's not in his prime form. So as the story continues, his 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 life is dwindling. So every scene, every moment that takes place now is carrying that weight, and it causes this unconscious gravity that is on top of us that we can feel. So when you see him get hit, when you see him get stabbed, when you see him get effed up, you're fearing for his life for real. <laughs> wow. Damn that shot, man. Oh, my God. You see how big his hands are compared to hers? Oh, man. But they both have those, the grooves in them. I don't know how you got me here, but uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? Okay, shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up! Oh man, this is great. This is great. They're both so good. Not gonna lie though, that was sick to look at. <laughs> that was pretty damn dope. The VFX in this is just so top tier. It's really stunning. And I think it's more so with just how it looks during the day or when lighting is showcasing the CGI. Another film that does obviously a great job at that is District 9. Damn, that shot is so awesome. That's such an awesome shot. The man himself, Wolverine, 
Logan getting saved by literally the next generation. Like, that's really cool. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. That's how you do a nice Easter egg right there. <laughs> That's funny, man. Your friends. Yo, whoever's doing the rack focusing is like <laughs> they they know how to freaking get in that. <laughs> they know how to get in focus quick. Bad shit happens to people I care about. I'm mm. Sammy. His performance is insane. You could see, you could hear the quivering in his voice, man. Man, that is a guy who has been through it. Hugh Jackman, excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Another shiver. It just went down my spine because of this moment. <laughs> I'm sure you guys all seen it behind the scenes, a few Jackman acting this, so I won't, you know, get too much into it. But damn, the rage. Wow, the fact that he's up against that too? That's crazy. I just realized that. The fact that he's up against that, and, and it's the tree is what I'm talking about, is crazy. Oh, it's about to go down, bro. <laughs> it's about to go down. Damn, that is so cool. I was I was so happy when they showed the other mutants powers in action. Woo! That scream is crazy. Look at this man. Yeah, <laughs> he is running. Oh, man. You guys know I love people running in films, man. That was so great. Oh, man. <laughs> Dog. Yo. <laughs> I lose my mind, man. I lose my mind when that, when that happens, bro. I'm like, ah, I can just feel it. Yeah, that John was crazy, man. I was like, what the hell is that? Is that sound? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, the teamwork. <laughs> Watching these two in action is just incredible, man. It's like The Last of Us, but, you know, with mutants. <laughs> Will not survive further wounds. Allow me to introduce myself. Right. <laughs> this dude is such a scummy butt faced looking mother effer, man. To distribute gene therapy discreetly through everything from sweet drinks to breakfast cereal to work. I love how they are using her doing her thing during his little monologue because F his monologue. <laughs> Dangerous times, James, you can't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> F his monologue. <laughs> You got this freaking comma gras, <laughs> freaking <laughs> just over here, just bodying a prime version of Wolverine. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna say this real quick. I miss it when characters really exert themselves when they use their powers. I feel like sometimes when I'm watching superhero movies, especially now, I just don't feel that, like, exertion, you know? Like, I want to see you struggle to do that maneuver. That was great. Him yelling and the veins coming on his forehead. That was, I was, I was just like, damn, bro. Mm. Good aim, kid. Like, seriously, that's a, that was a good aim. I'm happy you didn't miss with that. <laughs>
God damn. Every time, bro. Damn it, damn, man. <laughs> Shout out to the music, too. Shout out to the music, man. And the acting, the performances, man. Daddy. Stop saying dad. <laughs> I don't want to cry, all right? Stop, stop, stop it. Mm. Now you run on home to your mother. You tell her. Everything's all right, Daniel. We're going to see the valley. Wow. Wow. That was beautiful what she said, man. That was very beautiful what she said. I wasn't able to really catch it when I was in theaters watching the man. Oh, and he got the Wolverine toy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Uh. Wow. <sighs> All right, everybody. And that that's Logan. Damn. All right, everybody. We just got done watching Logan. Ah, oh, man. There are so many beautiful things about this film that makes this one of my favorite superhero films of, 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 as of right now. Like, I was gonna say all time, but you know, there's still more life to be lived, so. Uh, but. What I love about this film is just how emotionally valuable this thing is. Like, it hits all realms. Like, if you want your entertainment, you got it. If you want your Wolverine, you got it, right? If you want your Logan, old man Logan, right? You know, um, you got it. <laughs> but what people remember about this film isn't because, you know, there's three Wolverines that showed up, right? Um, they, don't, they don't love it just because of the the violence and the r rated um uh, uh, the r rating that was attached to this and i can only personally speak for this but i don't know i feel like this film for the emotional value and the absolute love and respect they have for this character because they realize that this isn't just wolverine anymore this is this isn't just a comic book and in many ways similar to how the comics were referenced in this film as like Wolverine trying to push it away and say no that's not real that's not true that didn't happen you know uh, it's just incredible it, it's incredible being able to now look at this and and have so much faith towards who Wolverine really is. He's not just a comic book character. <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy. <laughs> He's not just a comic book character. You know, like these these characters that we love and we cherish, especially the OG ones. Wolverine being one of them. You know, we love them because they are not just a comic book character. Because if that was the case, we would have just kept them in the comics. But as you can see through every filter every version of this comic book character just molding together just just it's like clay we, we, we put these pieces together and we form this entity that all of us can relate to beyond the realms of a comic book beyond the realms of a film beyond the realms of anything else and it, and it hits here right and inspires this but man logan really hits hair you know it's like it reminds me why i love comic books it reminds me why i love uh, uh, uh films with comic book characters and it. it reminds me of why i love this you know why i love all of this and i don't know i don't even know if i said that in the best way i possibly can but uh I'm trying to give at least some appreciation or value to what I believe is a very personal aspect to why Logan is 
top tier um, because it's such a, a an accumulation of everything. It really is. It's just it's such a grand accumulation of everything. And man, like that R rating, I think instead of it being like, oh yeah, this is gonna be bloody, which it is, I think it just and in a way unlocked all the floodgates like everything it's like no we're gonna do this because it has to be this way in order to tell the best story about this person the best story to present to you you know it's like seeing the accumulation that i've built over the years and what you probably built over the years and and watching it you know like like unfold in front of you and oh man it's 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 painful it's joyful it's somber it's 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 regrettable it's depressing and it's honestly the most it's one of the greatest things to experience you know and i think that's one of the greatest things art can really do for people um man that logan is top tier i ain't got to say any more about it to be honest with y'all so i would love to hear what you guys have to say about this um i hope that you guys stick to the end or you guys tune into you know these sections i know i know some of y'all do by the way um uh so i appreciate y'all and i and i really do mean that um because you guys are able to really tap into a side of me that i don't think a lot of people um you know really get to see and i'm gonna be doing my best to kind of introduce that along with newer forms of content on youtube but the reason why i you know i i, I don't like cutting <laughs> as much or you know i talk a lot <laughs> especially uh, within the intro and the outro is because i know these words matter you know and whether they don't matter to you i don't really care but to those that it does matter to just know that i'm happy that we're able to experience this moment right because this is a very genuine moment i'm saying that from the very very depths of my heart and i know it's really hard to have that come by uh, especially on the internet especially with everything going on um this is a very genuine moment for me and i try my best to be as genuine as i possibly can there's no fabrication so um guys with that being said that was Logan, top tier. Uh, can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Like always, guys, please stay healthy. Please stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.